Meantime, President Biden landed in Israel early this morning for a series of meetings. His trip to Jordan canceled after an explosion at a Gaza hospital killed hundreds of Palestinians. Ian Lee followed developments in Tel Aviv. President Biden once again promised full U.S. support during meetings with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his war cabinet. As long as the United States stands and we will stand forever, we'll not let you ever be alone. We're going to make sure we have what you have what you need to protect your people, to defend your nation. The president's trip to Israel comes just hours after a massive explosion at a Gaza hospital. Both sides are blaming each other for the attack that left hundreds of Palestinians dead. Based on the information we've seen to date, it appears the result of an errant rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. Many of the injured were brought to a nearby hospital already overwhelmed with patients. They try to find a safe place, they try to find a shelter, and they have been attacked by a barbaric bombardment. Despite U.S. support, international pressure is mounting on the Israelis to scale back their blistering attacks as the death toll in Gaza climbs past 3,000. But with 1,400 Israelis dead and Hamas still holding about 200 hostages, including women and children, Netanyahu remains defiant. The forces of civilization will prevail for our sake, for your sake, for peace and security in our region and in the world. Anger is spreading across the region. In the Jordanian capital Amman, protesters tried to storm the Israeli embassy. Many expect that rage to only grow while Israel keeps bombing Gaza. Ian Lee, CBS News, Tel Aviv. All right, go ahead and stay with 10 Tampa Bay as we work to keep you updated on everything happening in the Middle East. Go ahead and download that free 10 Tampa Bay app to get alerts as new information comes in.